Um, so now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and close our testing and go back to our bridge map. And I'll fix that one little tile that I noticed while we were uh, tooling around in there. Needs to be one of these little corner rock pieces right there. There we go. That looks better. Make sure I didn't miss that anywhere else. I think we're okay with the rest of them. And uh, now let's just go ahead and go straight to our next map because that's where I'm kind of excited to uh, get into it here. So for this one, I'm trying to decide exactly how big I want it to be. Um, Width-wise, I definitely want it bigger than 17. Um, Height-wise, I'm not too sure yet. I'm not too sure yet what I want to do with height-wise. Let's do 30 for the width. Let's try that. And then let's do um, maybe 20 for the height. Well, I'm not sure. Height. I want it to be a little bit taller than a normal one, but I don't think quite as tall as that last one we did. So let's try 20. And we can always go back in and change it if we need to. And then again, we're doing the outside tile. This one I want to call, hmm, let's see. Our main road would be like one temporary name we could give it at least, but um, trying to think of what exactly. I guess for now, I'll just call it that. Uh, we may change that down the line because that's pretty plain, and I'm just not really sure what exactly I want the road to be called yet. That's the thing. But let's just hit OK. So now we've got a pretty good size area to work with here. Quite a bit to the size. It goes off of my viewable screen area here. So I'll just zoom out a little bit and we can get kind of an idea. So we've got, you know, 20 in the height and 30 in the width. So I may even end up making it a little bit longer. I'm not sure. But we'll see. We, we, we can uh, start here. Um, one to one. So now what I want, I think, uh, let's pull this back over here. Uh, I kind of want the bridge area to come out more towards the left, maybe, and then um, have the path go more towards the right, I think is how I'm envisioning it. So uh, let's do, I guess grass is, is a good thing to fill in with for now. Um, now we may even use, yeah, I think I may want to even use the actual paved tile here. Uh, so we'll do some of that. Um, and that might help distinguish a little bit too. So if I remember, we had four tile spaces at the edge, at the top edge of that last map. So we're going to have to make it match up there a little bit. Um, now I do want this to be kind of, you know, kind of suggesting something that's been traveled quite a bit right over here. So I'm going to leave that a little like that. And it's kind of symmetrical. You can make yours symmetrical or not. That's up to you. Um, so we've got these other tiles here and I'm going to go with this one and just kind of set that along here and just to kind of show like, you know, there's a, there's a road here that's, um, maybe we don't, we don't know where it's, I'm, I'm thinking that we're not going to know where it's going in the one direction, but this is kind of just a dirt path here that leads off of it. Um, Maybe something like to there. That's probably pretty good. And another way, if it's just going to be something, you know, rectangular, like we, like I was saying before, um, you can just box things in with this big all rectangular, uh, you know, rectangular tool, rectangle tool here. And that's a lot faster than just drawing it one at a time with the, you know, with the pencil tool here. And we can go back in and modify this a little bit to make it a little more realistic looking, maybe put some grass or else um, you know all, all you really got to do is like just do a little bit like that maybe add some uh, you know like to suggest that maybe the grass is growing in on the road a little bit or however however that works out exactly um, but for now we'll just leave it pretty straight because this is meant to be like a main road area um, so I'm gonna do Real quick, uh, let's go back to our clearing and go to our events tab. And I actually want to copy this event. So, control C to copy it. Go back to the main road. And we will paste it right here. This looks good. Paste. So, that's how you can copy entire events. And you would have all this. So, all this is all set up like we had it before on the same one. Um, so, here I'm going to sign read camp area ahead. So 
just a little direction for people that maybe are coming by. It's like, hey, there's a camp area over here. Yeah. So that's a real quick way, instead of having to, you know, once you've made it one time, that's a real quick way to duplicate things that you've already done, pretty much, um, as long as they're not going to change significantly. Or even if they do change quite a bit, it's an easy way to copy over, you know, the things that are going to be the same, like the priority and the image and all that, and maybe the placement of the message or whatever. Um, and, you know, they uh, it, it saves you some time when you once you really get going with all this stuff. So... Um, so there's that, and I'm just kind of directing people like, yeah, there's a little campsite area over here, and that's kind of what I envision that uh, starting area to be um, to begin with. So I think I'm going to put a couple of trees in here. These big guys, I like these big ones. Let's put a couple of you back on the map tab. Maybe we'll put one here, and another one there, and maybe a tree right about there. Um, and just kind of space them. You could even put some like over the road a little bit. Um, at least on the bottom area anyway. And that can look kind of nice. Just gives you some kind of, you know, visual elements to put along. Because you, a uh, 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 map that looks this straight, like with the, uh, you know, with the road and everything, you're going to want something really to spice it up a bit to make it look pretty interesting because... Otherwise, it's going to be pretty boring to navigate it, and you know, you're going to want something there to look at that is a little bit more interesting than just a straight line, obviously. So, um, and maybe we'll just put one more right about there. That's pretty good. And now, uh, another thing you can do here. Let me see if I can find the tile that I'm thinking of. I believe it's this one. Let's see. Uh, just kind of box some of this in here yeah here we go so uh this one with the transparency in it and you could use this one too it would do the same thing here for the most part except it has a little bit of grass around it um but the transparency one is the one that i'm thinking of here let me actually undo that uh, you can do things like this where you have uh i'll just say you know maybe let's see how many tiles are these four tiles so four in the middle Okay, and then you can do something like this, maybe. And then you could even have... And you could do uh, this other one, too. I wonder if this says grass. Let me just check really quick. Yeah, it does the grass on the side. Okay. But then you could even do something like that, and then you could do a tree inside of there. So it looks like something that, you know, maybe was specifically put that way to... Um, you probably want to do some dirt instead of the uh or even grass maybe grass would look okay a little bit there something like that maybe and then um do some tree and then yeah that looks pretty good and then it gives you the impression like it's the you know some kind of thing where maybe it was planted by you know specifically by people that you know maintain the road here or, or whatever um whatever you want to do with that um so yeah, you can do something like that, and and then again, that's another nice way to add some variety to your your scene, you know. So it looks pretty interesting because it didn't, you know, it's pretty unique. You don't see that too often. So I'm actually going to make a big section here, I think, and just basically duplicate that. So let's put some grass back in here. Maybe there's a little bit of space. We've got another thing going like that. And we'll cut that back one more tile worth. So we'll grab the grass one again and pull it back down like that. Uh, or we could even do the opposite thing and make this one longer. However you want to do it. Something like that. And I think instead of this tile... So another thing I haven't talked about yet, but if you're on the B tab here, uh, you'll see up in the corner, the top left corner, we've got this... Transparency tile. So if you ever want to just erase stuff on the B tile, but not the stuff underneath it, then you use the B tabs um, transparency unit there, and you know tile there. And then you can see we just took out the uh, the tree that was there. So because I actually wanted to add a little variety and put these trees in here, so we can say that it's you know a different kind of tree than the ones out here. So it just gives you something else to look at. 
And then another thing that I thought might be interesting to do, let's see if we have suitable objects in here. Maybe the flowers would be good. I was going to say to put like a little bit of a flower garden area, you know, a suggestion of a flower bed or something. Um, I don't think there's anything over there now. Nothing on the C tab that really would work. So maybe um, we could use this one. Maybe we haven't used that one yet. Uh, that looks okay. What about this pink one here? Let's see. Yeah, I kind of like the one. Maybe this one would be even better, actually. Those are, are those mushrooms or are they flowers? It's hard to tell. Looks like maybe flowers, but they could be mushrooms. I'm not sure. I think the mushrooms are down here, actually, but yeah, those look like flowers. Um, another thing you could do is like these little vegetables and things here, but that doesn't really make a lot of sense right here, but just to show you, like you can do, hey, it's a carrot patch for some reason. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I'll just do this one. I think that looked pretty good. Just to add something like that. We haven't seen those flowers yet, so. Um, and you could even do, you know, one of that and one of that, or, you know, whatever. Whatever you wanted to do, like different kinds of flowers, if you want to put them in there, like that, you know, whatever. Uh, but I think I like these little white ones for now, just for the sake of demonstration. Um, so we can do stuff like that, where it's, you know, uh, an enclosed area, and it looks, you know, kind of nice. And if you wanted, you can do uh, the road a different color. You know, you could do it like this. Instead, I'll just fill in really quick just to show you the difference. But like, you could do something like that, where now the road looks a little. That's if you had to fix that. But uh, to where the road looks a little different from the planning area. You know, if that's what you want to do, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I kind of like the more uniform look where they just put up a border and. You know, then there's some stuff there. Um, but either way, either way, whatever works. Uh, yeah, so we can do things like that to just kind of, you know, again, it's all about for, you know, visual appeal. Like, how do you make this road look a little more interesting than just a straight line? Like, what can you do? Well, you can, you know, put some stuff in the way. You can, you know, <laughs> whatever, whatever you want to do. Um, you could make cracks in the road if you wanted. Like, maybe... Over here, they haven't maintained it very well, so there's like some cracks or, you know, whatever. Um, things like that. You can use, maybe this tile would be good to show some overgrown grass. Just like a little bit, like maybe something like that, or I'm not sure. Actually, I might even use this one for that. That might even look better to me, but yeah, that one looks kind of, I think that looks a little better. But anyway, you can, you know, you can suggest some things like that, where the grass is maybe just not maintained as well, so they've got some growing over here. Except you gotta, again, watch out for that. But this might be one of those things where you can use shift, let's see. Yeah, you can use the shift key, but then you see, see how it changed, like it, it didn't, it doesn't have the nice little edge parts anymore, so. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm really not sure. I may have to look into that sometime in the future or something, like what exactly it does when you hold the shift button, because the layering part is obvious where it draws over things that it normally won't draw over. See, because now if you do it normally, it just cuts this into that and then it doesn't lay over it like you would want. But if you do it this way, it loses all its nice edge. So I don't know. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, so again, just, it's just something you can experiment with um, and see exactly how it works, whether it works for you or not, um, you know, things like that. 